You may call your first witness. I'd like to call Eric Green to the stand, Your Honor. See? Can you please state your name for the record? Eric Green. Mr. Green, what do you do for a living? I'm a bartender at McKee's on 45th and 7th Avenue. Were you working on the night of February 2nd? I was, 8 p.m. to about 4 a.m. when we closed up. My client Alex Williams has stated that on the night of February 2nd, he was drinking at McKee's. Did you see Mr. Williams that night? I did. What time do you first remember seeing Mr. Williams at the bar? I'd say around 12.30 or so. How do you remember the time? Because it was after the band had finished up playing their first set. And I remember him coming in and standing and talking to the bouncer for a bit. And while he was standing there, he, he had the door open and the cold air was coming in. So finally I had to yell at him to close the door. And you're certain that it was Alex Williams? Of course. Alex has been one of my best friends since we were kids. Uh, it's not like he's some random stranger that I had never really seen before and I would mistake for somebody else. What time did Mr. Williams leave the bar? He was there until about 4 o'clock when we closed up for the night. Are you certain? Yeah, we walked in the subway together after, uh, after I finished up. So Mr. Williams was at McKee's from 12.30 until 4 a.m. on the night of February 2nd? Yeah, he definitely was. Okay, Mr. Green, I don't have any more questions for you. Thank you. Would you like to cross-examine? Mr. Eric Green, how long have you known Mr. Williams? Uh, a little over 15 years now. And how did you and Mr. Williams first meet? We were in the same sixth grade class together. We were both new that year, didn't really have any friends, so we ended up hanging out together. How would you characterize your relationship with Mr. Williams in terms of closeness? I'd say he's definitely one of my closest friends. Definitely my oldest friend. Mr. Green, is there any way on the night of the second that Mr. Williams could have left the bar for a period of time without you noticing? I don't think so. Was the bar crowded that night? It was pretty busy between one and two. Uh, like people came in and they couldn't get a table, they weren't able to sit at the, sit at the bar, and, and they were kind of forced to stand. Was Mr. Williams one of those people who had to stand? No, he got there before the crowd really hit. He, he was able to get a, a high top table in the back. So he was in your sight the whole night? I mean, I could definitely see him from behind the bar where I was. But like I said, I was busy. It's not like I was standing around staring at him the entire night. Uh, you know, I had people ordering drinks, so like I said, I was busy. So when the bar closed at four, was Mr. Williams still at his table? No, the crowd started thinning out around 3.30 or so. Uh, and, and at that point, I noticed that he had moved from his high top table in the back to a seat at the bar and was talking to some girl. Did you see Mr. Williams move from the table to the bar? No, I just noticed it after the fact. I didn't actually see him get up and walk to the bar, but I saw it after the fact. So Mr. Williams was able to move from his seat in the back to the bar at some point during the night without you noticing? I guess. Do you think he could have gotten up from his seat in the back, left the bar for a while, and then return to get a seat at the bar. Objection? Calls for speculation, Your Honor. Sustained. Withdrawn. All right. That's all of the questions I have for you. Thank you very much. You may step down now.